So I love this next question, especially because Wicked was one of my favorite shows growing up. Like I did that in-person lottery for years before I got it and then yeah. finally got to go again recently. So that certainly holds like a special place. I'm very excited heart. about this question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Disabled Gamer asks, were there any favorite bits or mishaps from the Bach and Nessa storyline in Wicked? The Disabled Gamer, by the way, is named Alan. And he is a great, he, he is easily, he's like uh, been, been privy to almost every Zoom q and I've been. And he's had <laughs> our show really close before we closed down with his family. They're from Ireland. Um, so what, what's up, Alan? I'm sure I'll see just this clip on Twitter the minute this is over. What's up? <laughs> Your family is good. Um, but uh, yes, there was one big one, one big mishap that I was involved in is that I'm only on stage for 12 minutes in that show. Very small role for being a principal role, timing-wise. So in the end, my last scene in Act One is the train station scene, where he brings them to go off to the Emerald City, and he wheels on Nessa, and then uh, uh, Glinda calls him Bick for, the, for the, what, what did he did, what is the very last time, because he turns to her and says, it's Bach, and I can't do this anymore. And he runs away. He runs the length of the stage off, and Nessa, uh, you know, gives chase and Spock, come back and sorry, you know, and they're fine. They go to the Emerald City. So that's my last scene in Act One. And then I'm done for 45 minutes until Act Two, until I enter in Act Two. So it's a 45 minute break, easy. In Act One, uh, over a year into my run there, during an Act One, I left the stage thinking it was my last scene in the, sh in the, in the act. And it wasn't. So I went upstairs, took off my clothes, had just my like, you know, slider, like, like black sort of like compression shorts and white t-shirt and my mic belt, you know, in my hair and my mic and my hat, my little yarmulke, <laughs> my little Bach yarmulke. Um, and I'm chilling. I'm hanging out. And I hear on the monitor what sounds like what I usually hear right before I come on for my last scene in Act One. And I have a full-blown panic attack. Heart drops to my butt. And... I have no shoes on. I've, I just have literally black underwear, a white t-shirt, and a mic belt on. So I, I run, there's a, all, all this hanging clothing that has your stuff on it. I run into it and I just grab it and I start running downstairs with like, not even half of them were my costume. It was like Dr. Dillman's costume. And I'm, as I'm running, I'm like peeking things and I'm putting like half a sleeve on and like, and I'm putting on stuff that's definitely not the right costume. Um, and I, end up making it on stage in time. And I was wearing black patent leather shoes, for you, no pants, <laughs> uh, a sil the silver uh, governor's mansion jacket from Act Two, and my red yarmulke that I already had on. And it was open. So just like Mike belt and white shirt and then open jacket, no pants, black shoes. And I'm standing there and I'm vibrating. I'm shaking so hard. Thinking to myself, this will be my last performance ever on Broadway ever or in any theater and I'm sitting there and nobody notices for the first couple seconds because they're doing the scene until I can't remember who this is I, I have to figure out when this was because it, I, I want to like cast it the right way the whoever was playing Alphaba turns and sees me and then turns back like this because she sees what's going on <laughs> and then slowly the only person that didn't really see it was I believe who was playing Nessa Rose because she's I'm in I'm in back of her oh okay and the Glinda starts, and they start trying to get through their lines, and they're starting to laugh. And then she calls me Bick, and I have to, I'm not looking at any of them. And I'm laughing too, because what else are you gonna do? Yeah. I look at Glinda and I say, it's Bach, and I can't do this anymore. And then I have to run the entire length of the stage <laughs> with ensemble members in the train station on the thing, a single person running the length of the Gershwin Theater stage off to stage left into what I was assuming was going to be an unemployment letter um i it got a i mean obviously they were not thrilled but they were like it's show business what are you gonna do i had been a pretty letter perfect uh bach up until that moment so they didn't think it was me being lazy or sabotaging the show um it was mortifying and it makes for a really good story now but for weeks after i i believe i had bought everybody mrs field's cookie cake that just said i'm sorry on it um <laughs> But that I'll never forget that moment. I've never had a moment like that since, and I, I imagine it's because that one was so big. 
Yeah. Um, so thanks, Alan, for letting me relive that uh, horrifying stage mishap. Uh, thank you for that question. Whew, I love 